Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in for a new video review this week. And I just got this in from NECA's eBay store. It's their new The Terminator Endoskeleton 7 inch figure. So I know they had the new Terminator Genesis movie coming out. Um, I'm not too sure why they didn't just do the Genesis Endoskeleton. I know these original Endoskeletons have been really popular. Um, I've always been trying to look for them. They their prices are 80, 90, sometimes even upwards of $100 and really didn't want to spend that much for a NECA figure but when I heard that they're coming out with their new endoskeletons I just had to pick it up. Um, so unfortunately I don't have a comparison to do with an original endoskeleton but you know I'll do this as best as I can um, as whatever I can tell from the films and what, what I have seen from the old figures and see how they compare. Um, with all your thoughts and comments and hope you all pick them up. Um, I know Walmart is having them in stores but I tried a few times to visit and I haven't had any luck. Um, a few people have been getting lucky. I know California is usually the last state or last region to get the NECA figures. Um, I figured just ordered it online, wasn't too bad, picked up some extra stands too and let's get a closer look at this figure. So taking a look at it, we do have the packaging which is similar to the Apes line. Um, it's like the window box similar to the Hasbro Black Series um, packaging as well. It's a nice window display here. We have the brushed steel design on the sides and an image of the endoskeleton at the bottom with it reading the Terminator endoskeleton. And just taking a closer look at that, you can see, you can see the full figure along with the um, plasma rifle to the side. I think that is the only accessory that it comes with. Once we open it up we'll know for sure. Turning it to the side we do see the Cyberdyne system um, logo and their name along with again the Terminator at the top. And the back we have almost a chest piece of the Terminator and if you want to pause that to take a quick read over it. And that's about it for the packaging, so let's get this open up and take a closer look at the figure itself. So here we have it, we've opened up the Terminator Endoskeleton, and let me tell you, this figure is, it's an amazing figure. You know, being my first uh, Endoskeleton from the NECA line, I'm really impressed with all the moving parts, and there are a ton of moving parts, which I'll get into in a moment too. Um, the articulation is great, a few minor details or points of articulation that I wish were improved um, but overall just a great figure any Terminator fan will be happy to have this um, taking a closer look at the head sculpt right there we'll just get right into the paint overall actually you can see the beaming red eyes right there that's a really cool point let me try to get that as close in as I can you know it's kind of a it's almost a neon red I want to say um, but just those piercing red eyes we all know from the Terminator movies and along with the yellowed human-like teeth which I'm not sure if they actually were mentioned in the movies if they use real teeth for the endoskeletons but you know they definitely make a good job at looking making them look real and I do know I think sometimes they actually are supposed to be oh, that's one point I wanted to touch on um, the balancing isn't too good as you just saw him topple over but I'll get into that in just a moment as well. So and there's a closer look at the head again and you can see all over he doesn't really have a well kind of he kind of has the chrome paint to it it's more of a chrome silver um, but all of it is a brushed silver if you want to say or brushed steel look to it you see a lot of weathering around the head and the chest area and all throughout his body actually all the parts and limbs he has um, do have a lot of weathering and even the gun right here let me get that out of his hand it has a little, little bit of weathering not as much it looks a little bit fresher than the endo himself so let's take a closer look at the gun real quick so this is the um, plasma rifle we know from the movies as well NECA did a great job at the mold it does come out a little bit warped let me try to get that angle so you can see it kind of bends a little bit here and the top um, I guess the grenade launcher of it is a little bit bent too if you know I'll probably just put that under hot water or the uh, hair dryer to get that back into shape but again we see the brushed steel over here and the black rubber parts being the main handles and the magazine 
There's no articulation on here, no moving parts, so it's pretty simple. And it is pretty heavy too, considering how light the endoskeleton is. Um, it does add quite a bit of weight, whichever way you do position the figure. So do be careful at that. And getting back into the figure itself, let's take him off the figure stand. Now I'll touch on that too. Um, someone, I was reading on Facebook in the comments, someone mentioned that the figure stands NECA provides aren't um, big or they're too big to fit in the peg hole at the bottom. I don't know if maybe he had a bad figure or the hole wasn't big enough, but it does fit fine. You know, both feet have the peg holes at the bottom, so there is no issue with that going on. Oh, make sure this board doesn't fall down. So taking a closer look, again, I said, you know, with the brushed steel and the weathering all throughout, even in the tiny details around the uh, abdomen area and all the pistons, looking at the back, you see the spine, the thighs and the back of the knees, even the ball joint at the bottom of the heel, which we all remember from the movies. Even those have weathering, so NECA did a great job at the paint on that. And like I said, there are a lot of moving parts. Let's get right into the articulation. The head actually does not move too much. I'm afraid to push it a little bit farther because it has all the uh, wiring and the pipes around the neck here. So I'm not sure if this is... There is a joint on the neck, but the head itself um, doesn't move too much, so do be careful with that. The, the shoulders actually, we have the outside right here. They move forward and back. There is a twist just below the shoulder joint. Um, there's no twist at the elbow, but there are the pistons that allow you to bend it. The wrist can twist and there's no finger articulation on either one. And the same on this side. Turning to the back, there are these flaps, which I never noticed or you know, I don't think they were ever visible in the films, but they do open and close. So that's pretty cool. And they're not too loose, so you know you can leave them in any position you really want to. And in the front as well, there's this little flap, which I never noticed if it was moving in the films either. Um, you can't really push it out this way. You kind of have to bend it over or tilt it and hold that there, but there's nothing really underneath, just another moving part at that. The abdomen, we do have a slight swivel. You have to be careful with the pistons. They do move, but you know you can only move them so much. Um, not no crunch, no ab crunch at all. And the legs have a lot of articulation too. You can see the upper thighs are at the hips. They go in and out, and with both pistons on each side, they go kind of angled forward and backward because of those pistons here. So they don't go straight out. They kind of go at an angle right there. No twist at there. There is a single knee joint. And then the ankle does twist, and we have this really cool toe articulation, which will be a really cool, um, which is a really cool aspect for all the people who like posing and getting them in action sequences, so that's really cool to have. And everything the same on the other side as well. So I think I've hit all the um, articulation points. I'm not sure if they mentioned on the box how many there are. But there are quite a few, so it's one of the most we've seen. Um, and of course, compared to the old Terminator figures, they are a lot more articulated than before. So now getting into the balancing, as you can see, he is a little bit awkward when you try to balance him on his own. So the figure stand does help, but do be careful again, like I said, with the gun. Um, the gun adds a lot of weight to the underweighted figure. And you kind of have to lean back the figure itself at the top. Um, Kind of, guys, because I know he doesn't have an ab crunch, but kind of at the hips. I'm leaning him a little bit more back and have the gun placed in there. And putting the gun back in just to show you. The gun is also a little bit loose. I don't know if the hands are too open, but I'll probably get that tightened up as well. So, you know, getting that in there, what, however you can. I'll leave that out for now. But there we have it. You know, our new... Terminator endoskeleton. I'm really excited for the new movie. I know it's been getting a lot of um, criticism on the CGI and the acting and storyline, but you know, another Terminator movie is always great to see. Um, we'll have more cyborgs coming out, more um, endoskeletons, and we'll have the Genesis figures coming out soon too. So be sure to like, subscribe, and follow all my pages at the links below, um, and I'll be getting more reviews out to you all slowly. So thank you very much, and stay tuned for the next video.